Before we jump into the podcast, I just wanted to let you know that if you've ever wanted to personally text me or sext me and you're like, oh, I don't want to go on OnlyFans or any of my other sites, you can actually text me by going to sextsid.com. My phone number is free there and I get the messages directly to my text messages and I can just, you know, have a real personal conversation with you. So if you want to text me, sext me, whatever, have a normal conversation or a really filthy one, you can go to sextsid.com. I'm so excited for you to hear this new podcast. Mwah. I'm your host, Fit Sid, and welcome back to Dirty CEO, where we go balls deep into the reality of what people are really thinking. Now let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's your girl Fitz Sid, and welcome back to Dirty CEO. Today I'm here with my friend Olivia V. Hi, everybody. Tell them a little bit about yourself, just like a basic, you know, like give them a dating profile. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, my actual dating profile says um, dating me is like laughing at a bunch of bad dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> But I am at 29. I live in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. I've been in the industry for, you know, online for six years now. Yeah, she's she's one of the OGs. Like, it's kind of interesting because, like, there's certain people that I've wanted to shoot with that I hadn't had a chance to. And I finally got a chance to get my hands on her. Oh, I finally did, too. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, my God. Well, actually, I got my ass all over you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You could tell. She fixed her makeup, you guys, but it was really so if you guys want to see the scene, just so you know, you can literally see the full scene on either of our OnlyFans message us there or any of her other sites. I will have everything linked down below in the description if you want to see it. But I had way too much fun with you. Yeah, you're not going to want to miss this. Like, I mean, this is just like me like fixing it. But, yeah, she fixed it. But, like, but it's, this is not even close to what it looked like, like no. 20 seconds ago. <laughs> I know. She had like an eyelash popping off. She had uh, like her mascara everywhere. My bangs were like. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay. First question I have for you. I want to, because I know you're, you're like, everyone talks about her in the industry. Just for the record, you guys, she is known as being like nasty, messy, like <laughs> super hot. Like everyone was, and in, in this industry, that is a compliment. Like being told that you're that is like being told that like, you're like an A plus student. You right. know it's, like some, like, it's like someone saying like, they're proud of you. Like a parent's like saying yeah. they're proud of you. <laughs> yeah. So I, I really want to get into like, what are your, what are your turn ons? Because you're into this stuff in your personal life too, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, what are you into? Um, I mean, I, I definitely love like, like a huge thing for me. I really like, you know, BDSM, like heavy. I love impact play. Um, I do go into more stuff where it can get like. Can I say, yeah, can this I say? is a totally explicit. Okay. You can say anything. Okay. I was like, you know, and I love, like, mm -hmm. I just, I love being just like degraded and made to feel like just the nastiest little that you can find. Yeah. I could tell she was actually like, I was kind of, you know, sometimes you're scared like shooting with someone because you're like, I don't want to like, demolish you I was completely like comfortable doing it because I could tell you were great you like right. were having fun I was coughing but yeah. I was like you know I was like don't choke and she's like I love it don't stop <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because like some people you can tell just do it for video like you genuinely like it yeah what if you had to pick what's your number one turn on number one whatever if you had to pick something that like you didn't want to go without I think being degraded, I think mm -hmm. it's just like, cause it, like for me, like being degraded, it just means like it takes all the power away from me. And that's yeah. what I love about being a submissive is yeah. like that being completely taken where I can just mm -hmm. express myself in the, an emotional way as I see fit. And like, yeah. I don't have to think about life or, mm -hmm. and I can just be it's mindless. Kinda, yeah. It's kind of like, you can just like live in the moment, be in it. And I feel like a lot. So like, I'm not that submissive, but there are certain times where in the bedroom specifically, like. I'm a very dominant person overall. Like, I think everyone kind of knows, like, I can be a little bit subby sometimes, but it's different for me because, like, it's, I have to really be wanting to, like, relinquish power. Yeah. I want to be able to, like, want to lay there and enjoy it. And I feel like that that's what you like all the time. For me, I have to be in that headspace of, like, you're not going to control the situation right. right now. Like, you don't need to overthink this. Like, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's interesting because I feel like a lot of people, they can't grasp that concept because, number one, they haven't been with someone that's experienced enough to be trusted to do that with. Because the type of shoots that you do, tell tell them what you do. Like, I don't think people—because these are people that don't do that are listening. Yeah. I mean, 
I mean, I mean, just in like the recent like few months, like mm-hmm. I mean, there was one where I had like it was like a sensory deprivation where I was like, t- like essentially like tied to a ceiling, and I had um like uh, like electric collars around my like. Um, around my legs and like every time I moved I was shocked and I mm-hmm. was like like my I literally couldn't see and I was just like I could barely step on my like tippy toes and I had heels on and like yeah. I was getting hit at the same time while being like you know like um denial as well yeah I mean there's just one and then like there's other ones where I've had a hook in my ass, like in which a sh- explain to them how what what that is because when you were telling me that earlier like okay by the way you guys before we were shooting <laughs> she and I talked for like three hours like I had way too much fun just like talking to her getting to know her and she was telling me about this I have never seen like seen this and I don't think I really want to see it but I kind (laughs) of do like like when her scene is like available I'm going to definitely probably purchase it so then I can just like see what she's talking about but tell them what an hook is why it's like so kind of dangerous you know well so it it, it looks it's like it's like a big fish hook, honestly, but it has like, I mean, there's different types and like different, like there's so many different variations of them because like now it's like so popular and just like since mm-hmm. like, you know, and like stuff is like more like publicized mm-hmm. as it is like as sex work is nowadays. Yeah. There's so many different ones, but the one I had, it had like just like, you know, like a ball and then mm-hmm. like, you know, like literally like a hook and it was like, you know, there was like rope tied to it because it was like, t- like stabilized by like a metal post mm-hmm. and then like, I mean, it's just dangerous because, like, you can't move with that because you can, like, you can rip it. Well, are, like, <laughs> like, gentle right? souls. Like, I mean, like, I don't want to rip as much as the next person. Right. But, like, so you have to just, like, know what you're doing, know how your body works and, like, everything. And, like, you need to be comfortable with everyone that you're working with because, like, I mean, one wrong move and you're, like, you're f- for life. Right. Well, and I think that's another thing. A lot of people that want to get into it, like, what tips would you give them? Like, it, not maybe books, but, like, just like, in general uh, with, like, SM and all that because— I think a lot of people, like, want to get into it, but they don't know, like, where do I start? How do I handle it? You know? I think it's just, like, first, like, knowing what you like and knowing what you want and not doing stuff because, like, A, your partner wants to Mm -hmm. or, like, you think that, like, you see, like, people like me or, like, Mm -hmm. other people. Because, like, I feel like I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to, like, some of my other coworkers. She says vanilla, (laughs) y'all. Y'all, I am literally vanilla ice cream right now and she's Rocky Road. (laughs) If we're we're comparing. (laughs) But, you know, it's just, like, I see, like, other people and, like, and I just think it's like doing what you're comfortable with mm-hmm. and don't let like what the industry and like what people like me or other humans can do. Right. Like put like this pressure on you to do it because mm-hmm. like it's all about what you want and like what is going to like because even when like you still do stuff for work like you still need to have like a mindset of like wanting to do it because of like yeah. it gives you pleasure like you can be in that yeah. mindset and you can understand how your body feels like you understand consent and mm-hmm. like you understand like like what every single thing you're doing about well, it. And some of these things are genuinely, like, you're so vulnerable. And I yeah. think a lot of people, like, don't understand, like, consent is key. Like, you can pull consent at any time. And that's the biggest thing. I, at least, I i haven't really done, like, a lot of consent, but the stuff that I have done, they always tell me either a safe word or hand me a chain. Like, uh, when I'm not able to talk and stuff, they give me a chain. My hand can drop that at any time. Yeah. And that's something that, like, I think people don't realize. Like, if, if that person that you're with doesn't have some way for you to communicate that you are that you're you need to stop or just knowledgeable because mm-hmm. like it's like and then just like doing research because like this is an ever evolving industry like mm-hmm. I mean it's one of the oldest like in the world but mm-hmm. it's like it's over it's ever evolving where like you have to be knowledgeable on, like everything and like you have to be knowledgeable about how people's bodies are and like mm-hmm. their autonomy because every autonomy is different yeah. every single person's different well like you're is different than mine. Yeah. Like, if you guys want to see what ours look like, yeah. like you, you can. can. <laughs> the links will be below. Yeah. <laughs> but yours is different than mine, yet you totally know how mine works because, like, you and I care about, like, understanding bodies. And, like, I feel like there was actually a guy I worked with recently, and it was a bad experience because this man was, like, trying to bite my <laughs> off. And I, and I have a very tiny c- So, literally, like, he was, like, like, Laffy Taffy. No. And, <laughs> I, and I was, like, in pain, and he thought it was, like, funny. And I was, like, bro, you do not understand. This is, like, not enjoyable at all. Like, I and understand. you can hurt yourself. Yeah, I'm like, I understand that some people like pain, but I told him I don't like pain. So it wasn't like, you know, he just wasn't knowledgeable. And I think a lot of people come into this being like, oh, I know what OnlyFans is. OnlyFans is so different than like SM. Uh, like there's so many different, obviously, like, categories in this. And lifestyle, swingers, like they're all different. And every section needs its own knowledge, experience. Like when you start out being new, like you got to just like, Learn, go with the flow, like listen to people who actually know what they're doing 
And go to classes. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it's so, like, I mean, like, I've gone to classes and, like, you know, just, like, and, like, listen to, like, again, like, people that have been in the industry, like, mm-hmm. you can't just go, like, on certain websites that you can see video mm-hmm. for free and just, like, oh, I saw them hit somebody yeah. so I can hit somebody because, like, because you need to know, like, where no spots where you can hit yeah. people where you can, like, if they want bruises, are they okay with marks? Like, yeah. And, like, you know, they're no list and, like, going, yeah. like, over, like, really strenuous, like, hard limits mm-hmm. and no limits and, like, you know, like, what is, like, like decently okay mm-hmm. and, like, just, like, well, I, I do busting. So, like, I, I definitely am more dominant. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love, like, putting on my boots and, like, doing Bust some ball set. bust. Yeah, like, I, I love it. I love making them just feel so sick. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, well, they don't, I mean, men no, don't they, deserve anything. They love it. They, they and do. It, and it's interesting because, like, I don't, if someone didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be able to do it. But, yeah. like, because I know that, like, the people who I do that with, they enjoy it. Like, they'll text me and they'll be like, it's been a week, Sydney, and I'm just thinking about you kicking me again. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's the same thing as, like, really, really good stream power. And mm-hmm. I think it's, like, it's especially me, it's, like, you know, I have, like, you know, all my businesses, mm-hmm. and I work for myself, and I, it's, like, I have to always be that person for myself. And, like, when I can have that opportunity to, like, not, like, yeah. think and just, like, be able to just be in, like, my head and just mm-hmm. be in my body and, like, how it makes me feel comfortable, it's, like, that's beautiful. And, like, being able to yeah. be with, like— And, and that's, trust like, the person yeah. you're with because the people that I have to— was doing with I started shooting vanilla with them before I ever got to that point of feeling comfortable and the next thing I'm going to be doing is sounding and I'm honestly genuinely like a little bit scared to do that because like they're comfortable with it but I'm not yet and so I told them uh, they were they kept trying to say like please please film this with me and I'm like I want to film that with you but like I don't feel comfortable yet because because for me like I want to feel like good about doing it too like I want to have experience I want to be knowledgeable. Like, I'd love to sit in on a couple to make sure, like, I know how to do it. Because that's like you sticking a metal rod in there. Right. Like, like, I mean. And have it, you seen that? Yeah. So, yeah. it's really crazy. Like, um, I mean, not to, like, you know, go into this, like, but one of my partners, like, mm-hmm. you know, that, like, I, like, like, I just have play in my personal mm-hmm. life. They have a dungeon, but they do and that And just so you guys too. know, play is, like, personal fun. Like, I think that's a term that, like, yeah. I recently started hearing. Yeah. I mean. That, like, you want to play? Right. And I'm like, oh, that means, like, off camera. Right? Oh, like, crazy. I, I don't get paid for this? Yeah. What? I'm like, I get to do You're what like, I want. for fun? What? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, and it's, I mean, it's different. And it's like, that's kind of like the first thing. Like, mm-hmm. he, like he's very dominant. But like, you know, like he's done that before. Like mm-hmm. his other partner, like his main primary partner does mm-hmm. it with him. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah. holy hell. Like, Would you ever do it? No. Because I, I, I don't think I could ever be in a mindset a space where I could like feel like, because I feel like to me, like that's so dominant. To yeah, me. yeah. And I like, I don't like to inflict pain on people. Yeah. No, I totally. Get I that. want the pain inflicted on me. Yeah. No, I get that. How did you find out you liked pain being inflicted on you? Um. Like, I, what was your first experience that you can remember? Be honest. Oh my, I mean, honestly, just I think it's like you know, it comes into like because I think it's just I like had like a really ex boyfriend, mm-hmm. and I think just like how abusive he was. Mm-hmm. Like, I really wanted to like when I started like getting trying to figure that out and, like, mm-hmm. navigate how I was going to get over that, mm-hmm. I think. Took your power back a little took, bit. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of, like, you know, instead of, like, like harnessing all this, like, anger and pain towards, mm-hmm. like, the pain that was put on me. Yeah. I was like, you know, why don't I just, like, do it, like, because I've always wanted to be, inter- like, I was so really interested in it, and I, like, always felt mm-hmm. like I always was curious about it, and, like, the yeah. I bought was always some form mm-hmm. of, like, you know, pretty heavy. Yeah. RB- sim, and then I just, like, after experiencing that, just, like, taking that back and, like, being able to, like, mm-hmm. be, like, no, I'm going to put myself in pain and being in, like, it's, like, an emotional healing process. Yeah, and, like, you're choosing it. It's not just happening to yeah. you. Yeah, I'm always curious about that because I think, like, for me, I have changed as a person. I used to like pain back when I was, like, in high school specifically. Like, anytime I had sex, like, I wanted pain. I also liked inflicting pain, too, but, like, so I've always been a switch. But now I don't like it. Like, for some reason, I just, one day I was, like— flip of a switch, I was like, and I think it was around when I got into, and I started thinking, I don't know if I really like that. I have like, I kind of yeah. like other things. Like I have like a, I, in, I have an ear, flush. like it's kind of known to the whole world at this point. Um, and I like playing with the ears. That's a sensual thing. That's not like a pain thing. That's literally like yeah. me just doing like literally like, like playing with the ears. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Like growing up, like my like my like brother, like mm-hmm. when we would have go to my grandma's house, yeah. like when like we would share beds and shit mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, like he would always like end up like wake up and like play with our ear, like me and my yeah. other brother's ears. And I yeah. always wondered, I was like, how do these people start? And I'm like, wait, hold on. Did I just meet someone for the first time where I'm like, huh? <laughs> so well, the funny thing is with me, I know how it started. So it started out because everyone says it like 
start out all differently, right? Mm -hmm. Well, for me specifically, it started out because I wasn't given a binky or a blanket when I was little. What? I didn't have anything that I had attachment to, right? Damn. Well, what do you think when you're being held? What's the easiest thing to grab to? You're grabbing some f***ing ears. Yeah. So, like, when I was a baby, I would do that for safety. Like, when I wanted to feel safe, I didn't have a pacifier. I didn't have a blanket. Like, I didn't have anything that was, like, materialistic. So, I would play with people's ears. Well, I, when I was, like, 12 years old, I was still f***ing doing it. And then I got in high school, and, and only the guys I liked, I started doing it, too. It kind of, like, evolved and changed into, like, people that I like, me wanting to, like, show affection that way because like, it makes me feel safe. Like, your security <clears throat> blanket. Yeah. And, and it's stuck ever since. Which is funny because I'm, like, I'm over here, like, oh, I use binkies and blankies <laughs> now. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, though. And everyone has things that make them feel secure and safe. Not for me was that. And, and it still is. But it also can be, like, a little thing because I'm not afraid of ears now. I can fucking talk fuck someone's ear. And, like, let me tell you, that shit feels good. Like, I had a guy do it to me. So maybe Shout I need out to my, my Tinder welder guy. <laughs> go go Tinder. Tinder always is like a deep cesspool of goodness. Yeah, sometimes. he actually like <laughs> threw my back out though. We were what? in my what? in my car, and <laughs> in your car. Well, what do you expect in your damn car? <laughs> I know I'm five nine, and she's literally a foot shorter than me, you guys. But but literally, like we did that, and like he put his tongue in my ear. That was the first time I experienced it. So I think he has ear. Do. Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe that's like your lifelong partner. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna be really honest with you. He, he's a good buddy, but he's a horrible. Like he could never be dating material because I, I don't know. <laughs> Are what they you, all men? Like that's. Here's the thing, though. Like, what do you look for in a partner? Because I know what I look for, and like, there's a reason why I consider him not dating material. Um. Oh God, that's like I mean, because I I only do like poly. And, yeah. Like, so like the people that you date. Yeah. What do you look for? Um, I mean, it's just, like, really understanding just because, mm -hmm. like, I do have, like, a lot of anxiety and stuff. Yeah. And, like, with – and then, like, I, like, being able to express myself mm -hmm. in the sexual way that I need yeah. is extremely important to me. Like, like I have a boyfriend, but it's, like, he can't, like, satisfy, like, my needs of, like, mm -hmm. like – him and like right. like a session and you're of, not gonna force him to do that no of course not like he gives me my emotional needs mm -hmm. and like well like i have like two other partners that give me the actual mm -hmm. fulfillment that i need like he obviously i still have sex with my boyfriend mm -hmm. but it's like it's I, different yeah I, I it's it's like it's not i guess it's like basic but yeah. it's so like fun but it's, it's like just, probably sydney's just <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny <laughs> but yeah i mean it's just kind of the same thing like i need to be able to have my emotional fulfillment mm -hmm. and physical like fulfillment but it, like i understand like it's okay to not be able to find all of those in one right and, like yeah. it's not meant for everybody at all especially if like everyone's on the same page because i personally have never been in like a poly relationship right but i completely understand like if you can communicate properly if well, everyone's mature and understanding of like how it what's happening and it's all consensual it's great for right. me i technically like i was talking about this with someone else on another podcast I say I'm monogamous, but I mean, I'm like a lot of people eating a ton of and girls count, you know, like if you're girls, like, I mean, it's still, they're still a person. Yeah. So it's like the amount of people that I shoot with and like, yeah, I enjoy it. So like, is that monogamy? Is that not? Like, what do you think? I mean, I mean, I think if it's for work, it's a, literally a job. Yeah. Like, I but see do you think no it's still, cause I, cause I was having a debate with someone else and this is their thought. They said it's emotionally monogamous, physically non-monogamous. I, I think it's like you performing a job. Mm -hmm. Like, because I mean, I, I know a lot of people that are literally married. Yeah. That like are in and they yeah. like only sleep with that one partner, like mm -hmm. outside, outside of, of it. it. Yeah. But it's still a job. It's, I see no different than going to Target and like, mm -hmm. like working. Yeah. Like it's the same thing to me because like I can take my emotions completely out of it. Yeah. But I'm saying the physical part. Do you think that you agree with them on the non-monogamy or do you think it's still monogamous? Because I, I always viewed it monogamous. Because I, I, I mean, I feel like monogamy and like relationships, like there has mm -hmm. to be emotion there. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah. there's not emotion there, then it's like again, like I see mm -hmm. it as a job. Like I'm yeah. coming to work and doing a job and mm -hmm. fulfilling what I need to do and getting paid and leaving. Right. And I do not give a f about like. Right. I mean, I care about them as a person, but like other than that, like I don't care. Right. Well, it's like you're not over here. Like there's a different type of care. I, yeah, because like they're I, not going to be about, calling you at two a.m. Yeah, or, or like, and I care about like their needs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I'm on set. Not that I don't give a, f but it's like yeah. outside of work, it's like that's it. No, I, it's it's like a coworker. Like it's same thing. Yeah, like I like like I have a hard like no dating rule. Like I do yes. not date in the yeah. industry. Yeah. Okay, that's another question. Have you ever dated someone in the industry? I haven't. It did not work out well. What happened? 
I, I mean, just like, just it just gets messy just because, like, you know, when they start, if they start dating somebody else, mm-hmm. or like, since I only date openly, mm-hmm. like, if, like, if you break up with them and they're in the, and like, their mm-hmm. other partners are like still part of the industry, like, it just gets messy then yeah. with contents and model releases, like, and like, they, and, like, if you're dating someone for, let's say, for like two years and mm-hmm. they want you to take it all down, like, technically, yeah. you have no. the, those model releases, but it's mm-hmm. like, you're still gonna feel like a, sh- like, I would feel like bad not taking it down. I wouldn't, but it, cause like, we have those model yeah. releases. Depending on what scenes and whatever, mm-hmm. but it's like it's like having to go through all that drama is so not f-ing worth it. Right. And I won't do it again, and I think that's why I won't date someone in the industry. Like I, you know, I've had crushes before, but the thing is, I won't ever let myself like act on it. I don't want that because here's the thing: the moment that, in my opinion, you date in the workplace, which this is work, this is our industry, this is literally where you get your money. You're not gonna f- in it, and that's kind of like what it is. Like in my opinion, like I know I can't, I I can't handle drama. And it comes with drama. Yeah. Like, I, like, people all have opinions. Like, say you, say I had a boyfriend in the industry, you f- him, and then you had a not so great experience, and then we all have to go out together, and you're kind of like feeling like awkward, like, mm-hmm. oh, this weird guy. Yeah, because you're like, this just didn't work, you know? Yeah. It's like you were so vulnerable in this industry that being more vulnerable, dating people, and then having to open up your whole life, it's like, it's messy. And then all the people I know that are dating in. The stories you uh, hear. They are. I mean, but I also, like, I mean, like I said, I know people that are married or, like, mm-hmm. have, like, very successful relationships. Yeah. I mean, it's really but just— I think they have to have a good oh, communication. Oh, God. Like, those people are <laughs> insane. It's like— Yeah. I mean, and, like, just emotionally intelligent. It's yeah. also like just being emotionally intelligent and just, mm-hmm. like, being in tune with yourself. And if you've become curious about my content, you can always go to OnlyFans.com slash FitSid. That's my VIP OnlyFans. I'm on there every day. I post every day. All of my scenes, pictures, everything is on there for one low price of $35 a month. So that's less than getting a cup of coffee every day at Starbucks and you get a seat everything I posted in the last four years. Uh, I also have a free OnlyFans, which is OnlyFans.com slash XXX Fit Sid. So that has my free only fans. Um, you can unlock as in like a la carte options. Or if you just want to go to my website, fitsid.com, F I T S I D.com. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know in case you had a little bit of curiosity. Do you know what a hobosexual is? What? A hobosexual? Mm-mm. Okay, so it's like a running joke in the industry. Hobo. Ask Scotty P if you need more uh, explanation. <laughs> he he like came over and he was like, "Here's a hobo tool." And he's like pulling up Twitter, and I'm like, "I'm like, what are you talking about?" He's like, "Hobo tools are people that latch onto other people to oh. ride their coattail, basically." And a lot of guys and some girls. Uh, I don't think girls as much because we, we kind of control the industry. Like we're the models. Like the guys are like. There's only so many guys that like can handle the job. Yeah. You know, they basically like. A guy will pick a girl, date a girl, and then he, when they break up, he picks another one that's in the industry so he can keep growing. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's weird. I've ne- I don't know why I've never— I know exactly what that is, but I've <laughs> yeah. never heard it. Hobo <laughs> That's so funny. But it's interesting because those are usually the people that are, like, looking to date, and then they can't offer you anything, and they're not they're, emotionally— Which yeah. is like, okay, I can— But they're not emotionally mature, so then, like, when you break up, they just find someone new, and you're like, am I that replaceable? Right. Because, like, I've been single for a ton, like, of time. And, like, I believe my ex is still single. He may or may not be. I think <laughs> I he mean, is. I mean, does anyone give a f- No, but I'm yeah. saying, like, <laughs> we didn't replace each other right after. Like, we, like— Yeah. And he wasn't in the industry, but, like, if he was, like— And I had seen that, that would hurt my feelings. Like, it takes time to heal. Yeah, and, of course. And I think that is something that, like, in this industry, you don't think about. Like, you're working, you find someone you like, and then you're like, oh, my God, like— I really want to see, like, where it can go. Because, like, it's like a crush. It's like high school. You know, you date people at high school and it's, like, awkward. It's just the same thing. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, like, I, I, were, I really want to get someone on the podcast that is dating or married to someone in the industry. Because I'd love to hear, like, the other side of yeah, it. Yeah. Because for me, I, I mean, get, you know. They probably just see it as, like, same thing as I do. It's, like, it's, it's still as work, mm-hmm. and, you know. And they can separate it. And, like, maybe. Yeah. And it's, like, I think I'm just, like, I don't, I just don't have enough energy. I don't. It's, I, it's and I energy. hate drama. Like, I hate—well, not drama. I hate conflict, and and you have to really be able to talk about things. And, like, I t- I'm really good at talking about things, 
but I prefer that my partner be a, be part of something else. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I mean, that's fine. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, I know a lot of people that are like, you know, started dating people and then like they just like, mm-hmm. they were making them more money and then like yeah. their partner got involved in, because it like just made more like sense, physical sense yeah. to do it, mm-hmm. which is, I mean, and it, oh, there's so many different. There's some people who they get their partner about it. In. God, it's, it's like, it's like a. It's like a Candyland, like yeah. Nash Avenue, like it just like there's not like a right or wrong answer. I just mm-hmm. personally don't like because yeah. like, I've done it and it's <laughs> yeah. I also think too like the hardest. I th- okay. Here's my opinion. I think the hard part is like if you can handle it, you can. I like simple, and I think like being me being able to go to work, quote unquote, and then come home and not have work come home with me is so nice because if I go home to work and he does the same job it's probably going to be harder to, like, separate it. Oh, yeah. And, I can like, see that. And, like, I, you know, I like taking my little, my little play things to, like, AVN and having them be, like, dazzled by all the craziness that happens. Right. You're like, you look, know? At, look at me. Like, look how desired I am. Because because you get, like, it's like a nice little ego boost. Well, yeah. And also, like, the cool people they're going to meet that are, like, so much crazier than I am. Like, crazy in a good way. Crazier than I am. And they're like, wow, like. That person does that. And I'm like, yeah. Well, you're like, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm like, this person, that's their daily life. Like, <laughs> literally every day. Um, have you ever had, like, a bad experience on set? Yeah. Speaking of daily life. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, yeah, of course. I feel like what, we all What do you have. think would be a bad, like, experience that you had? I mean, just, like, if someone can't get hard and just, mm-hmm. like— I mean, just, like— And then just, like, the lack of, like, not being able to, like, have good chemistry. Because it's, mm-hmm. like— well, you know when you meet someone, like, mm-hmm. immediately if, like, you're going to vibe on camera or not. And yep. sometimes you're, like, you just get the shit done over with. Mm-hmm. You're, like, you leave. You get paid. That's it. Yeah. But, like, there's sometimes you're, like, if the scene takes a long time mm-hmm. or if it's, like, a heavier scene or there's more to it, mm-hmm. it's just a really— It's like it's, pulling teeth. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's just—and I think that's just dealing with most men, mm-hmm. to be honest. But have you—you've never had, like, a situation that sticks out to you? Like, one thing where you're, like, this happened and this is, like, why it was bad? No, I'm not— that's Not good. Really. That's that's really good. Yeah. I, I mean, nothing I can legally talk about. Yeah, but. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So you've had some experience. Yeah. I think it's kind of hard, too, because, like, with this industry, like, I am very positive. Like, I want to not be known as, like, someone who bashes people. So, like, for me, I've only had, like, one bad experience that was, like, really sticks out in my head. Like, they, I basically got catfished. Oh, God. And, like, this person, like, definitely wasn't, like, actually in— Like, they were in— But, like, not— They—, they not hygienic, like a lot of issues there, right? Mm-hmm. And I think, like, I will never personally be like, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to go to Twitter and, like, talk about this person publicly because, like, I'm not the type of person, you know? And I feel like it's really hard because, like, who want, would you work with someone if you saw them do that? Like, like, I mean. Like, no, I'm saying, like, would you work with someone that you know, like, publicly, like, comes out and has goes, like, this was a bad experience for me, blah, blah. Because I feel like I usually steer clear of those people. I mean, it really depends. Like, I mean, every, especially yeah. some of those situations, everything is like, you have to just take it as like yeah. situational. Because I, I some also, of those are like good things to know. Because yeah, you but I'm saying known. someone who does it all the time. Oh, Because I feel like the people who put people on blast all the time, it's like, I don't want to get in that category. I'm like, I'm just going to never do just, it. <laughs> just, you know, yeah. Unless I mean, something happened that was like safety. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's it, like I said, it, like that's where it becomes mm-hmm. situational. But other than that, like, I mean, someone that does it all the time, it's yeah. not cool. But again, it's like, mm-hmm. I mean, like it, if they're industry, working though. so much, like if they're like on set five yeah. times a day, mm-hmm. I mean, like five times week, a week, yeah, like, yeah. they're going to interact with mm-hmm. like a lot of people and like, and the percentage yeah. of those people probably being. Yeah. And, and you shoot a lot. What's your daily life like? Oh God. Um, well, I mean, like, I mean, I fly a lot. Like, mm-hmm. I usually fly out, like, mm-hmm. every every month I yeah. go. Because, like, there's not a lot of, like, too much professional mm-hmm. stuff in, like, Pacific Northwest. And mm-hmm. if there is, it's, like, I've just, you know, I've already done it. Right. And so, like, when you're at home, what do you do? I just work. I just sit at yeah. home, really. Like, what's your day like, though? Um, I feel I, like people would want to know. Like, you're a pretty girl. Oh, Like, thanks. what do you do? Uh, I mean, I like, you know, I wake up. Like, I have five cats. So, mm-hmm. like, that, you know, controls most of my life. Yeah. And then, you know, I, you know. Work. Controls your life, five cats. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like me with my three dogs. I'm like, 
Yes, I wake up. I snuggle them for two hours. Just kidding. No, but I, I, I do love my animals, so I totally get right. that. Yeah. I mean, and then I do, like, the normal stuff mm-hmm. that every human does. Like, you know, eat. And then I, you know, mm-hmm. check all my billions of websites. Yeah. Go through my emails. What are the, the favorite sites that you have that you're on? Um, I mean, right now, like, I'm working on getting on Sheer. Like, that's, mm-hmm. like, something I'm really interested in just because of how open you can be with yeah. all and stuff. You said basically anything besides right? Yeah. From what I understand, mm-hmm. I could be totally wrong. But you have made videos, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are into shit, like she actually makes those videos. You can hit her up on email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, you have Sheer. Yeah. Right? And then what else? Um, And then, well, I don't have Sheer yet. Like, I but need, you're working on it. Yeah, so I, can, I, yeah. Yeah. I need to sign up. It's really mm-hmm. that. I've just been putting it off. Mm-hmm. Um, But like, and I have OnlyFans, mm-hmm. you know, I want clips, clips yeah. for sale. Do you like clips for sale? It, it's good for like, because I have stuff and I need to get on there, but let me tell you, that's that website hurts it's, my heart to look at, like my not, brain. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of you know, I I do I I mean I do it, but I, I like I don't yeah. keep it updated. But like I want clips. It's like mm-hmm. more like it mm-hmm. that does a lot of good. Mm-hmm. I need to get on there. Are you on many vids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it better? Like which one do you like better? Well, I want clips. I I mean many vids just because like the more internal traffic mm-hmm. and it's more well mm-hmm. known. Like if. People see many of us, they like, yeah. know exactly what it is. Yeah. But I want clips. Like, I mean, obviously, it kind of says it in the title for me. But, yeah. like, if you're not pu- putting so much, it's a lot mm-hmm. of work. And it's, like, I I mean, I need to get better. I need to have more mm-hmm. motivation, to be honest. Well, it's, just, <laughs> it's just hard, though. But it's interesting because there's so many sites we can be on. Like, I need to have motivation to learn clips for sale. Because, like, I like knowing. Like, here's the thing. I know some girls, they, like, don't really know how to do a site, but they just go and do it. Like, I'm the type of person that, like, wants to, like, explore the whole site. I even buy clips off other people so I can see, like, how my customers get my stuff. I mean, and, and you're supporting your coworkers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a, two, it's a two for one, but I'm able to, like, learn. And that's a hard part for me because I have to sit down and figure it out. And, like, when I was actually, like, flying to Vegas the first time was when I started learning clips for sale at the airport. <laughs> Everyone yeah. at the airport was looking at my computer like, what is this looking at? Girl, you don't have a piracy screen no they can uh, it's not that bad i sit in a corner but like <laughs> but i know people like can definitely i have glasses it's easy for oh, them to oh. yeah but on the plane i opened my computer up so and i like i was on the plane sitting next to this random guy and oh. i literally had to close it so fast because i forgot i'd left like the the screen the, up oh yeah and i was looking at some freaking weird <laughs> yeah <laughs> like and, and i know no one saw but i was like so scared i was like yeah, we're keeping this closed the rest of the flight. I was like, it's only 45 minutes or 50 minutes or whatever. It's like, I think I can wait. But um, Clips for Sale is like, I've heard good things because they care. They, they're they friendly, you know, and like OnlyFans are friendly now. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. <sighs> R.I.P. I know. <laughs> but, you know, it's honestly, in my opinion, I'm glad that like OnlyFans for a long time was so great. And I really hope they stick around. <laughs> I hope they do too. Um, you know, but fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. We'll see though. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> she's laughing over here, you guys. Because Kaya Eve's here. And Kaya literally was waving her arms in the air. And she's like, she's going to be on Brazzers and Bang Bros. What was that like? What was it like shooting for them? And... um. Do you know when the scenes are coming out? Unfortunately, with that, I don't really know mm-hmm. just because of, like, it is, like, it just paid content. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just, that's it. I'm curious. Sometimes they, they sometimes, like, tell you. Not I mean, really, but, you know. You can tell them you did. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, I had, my, I'm having. For both? Yeah. Oh. I, so, I did, um, um with, with browsers, mm-hmm. I did um a team with um D Williams. Yeah. And, oh, okay. What's it like working with her? She's amazing. Yeah. I mean, she's, like, I mean, she's been in the forever like yeah, I mean that's yeah. like she's the OG of the OGs what you know? was that scene um, like what'd you do it was like a it's like a maid one where like I was like the bad maid that mm-hmm. like was, was showed up late and she was the like hot executive mm-hmm. that like punished me for being bad damn went, yeah. and then you just for that yeah. did she use strap huh was it a strap it was a toy oh damn that's yeah. dope yeah it was good and then I for bang bros I like had my first like Debut mm-hmm. with Javon Jordan. Yeah, and that and that's the crazy thing. How big is his? That, ooh, I mean, it's it's, it's massive. Huge. Like, is I it mean, like the size of your forearm? Yeah, he, I yeah, mean, yeah. he's six seven. So I mean, I'm four ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. She's like, she's like, Sydney. The only thing I don't really want to do today is just just because, like, you know, I didn't prep, and I was like, yeah, we're okay here. Yeah. Like, I've never done 
anyone or myself. So like, you're safe. Like, like <laughs> but then she tells me, she's like, yeah, I did. I did the other day, blah, blah. And I'm over here just like, I'm like, yo, I can't even fit my pinky. I mean, I can barely fit my pinky. Right. No AC, like 90 degree weather in Miami. Was it inside or outside? Um, a mixture of both. What, like, like, was it a backyard? I'm, all, uh, I'm curious. Oh, yeah. It was, it was like, there was a backyard. Like, we did mm -hmm. um, some of the stuff in the backyard. And yeah. then, like, we had to do, we did some of the stuff um, inside. But then, like, you can't have any AC on because right. you don't want it there. The so, hearing. Oh, my God. So, there like, was no you can AC. hear my fridge right now. But it's because I don't know how to unplug this one. <laughs> so, that, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I mean, and I, I know, I always, like, downplay myself. Mm -hmm. I need to get a lot better at that. Yeah. Kind knows I need to get better at that. Yeah. But, like, about, like, promoting myself. Cause I'm yeah, because, like, like, you're amazing. And, like, it's kind of cool. Like, because I think that's the thing, you guys. Like, when I got to talk to her today, before we started shooting, I learned so much more about her than, like, the things that you see on social media. Because I feel like you're, like, you do so much more. Like, people people need to be, like, looking your I, I know. I'm just, like, oh, I do all this stuff. And then I'm, like, and then I go on my stuff. And I'm just, yeah. like— like on my socials and I'm like, oh, I never promote any of like, I need to get better. I think I just need to like, I, I need to humble myself better with like knowing like I'm actually a good performer. Yeah. I mean, and I think and you're that's, beautiful like, and you're smart. You. Like you, you are a full package. I can thank see you. why uh, you got some, some lookers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I just think it's like, you know, especially in this industry, mm -hmm. like it's hard to like gain that confidence, mm -hmm. but it's like, once you do, it's like, cause I, you know, I get so jealous of like seeing my coworkers yeah. that are like, just like, killing it because they're yeah. so like just confident and mm -hmm. everything but then you talk to them and they're like I have no idea what I'm doing yeah no one knows what they're doing yeah. <laughs> I think I think that's the biggest thing too is like when I got into the industry I learned so before I got into this industry I was in fitness right and the biggest thing they told me was fake it till you make it yeah I learned how to fake it till I made it in fitness <laughs> so then when I got into I went to expos the first time First time I went to Expos, I pretended like I knew what I was doing I had been there before <laughs> I had never been to Miami before that trip so literally this whole trip was like insane. I ended up, I, I pretended I was, to, I, Sarah J and I shot on that trip, right? And I had never even shot a scene. The night before I asked this random girl, because I finally was like, let me admit to myself that I have no clue what I'm about like, to do. How do I eat the I had never seen a <laughs> bro. Like I, I, I always had girls eat me out before, but I had never like, I guess I had closed my eyes or something because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And I hit up this girl at Xbiz and I was like, hey, like, can we please before I'm about to fuck, like, this legendary star. And then we get to, like, shooting with the girl, like, with, with Sarah J, right? And I'm over here, like, acting like I'm the shit. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not about to show her. I'm just like, I knew she knew I was nervous. Because I wouldn't shut the up. Well, yeah. Like, I was literally <laughs> just trying to, like, like blah, 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 blah. yeah, I was just trying to, like, make it, like, the least awkward as possible for myself. And it wasn't awkward, but I was nervous. Because I didn't feel confident, but then I had to pretend I was. And I did a good scene. Like, it looks amazing. And she ended up asking me to shoot again. So I didn't do a bad job. But I was like, like, right. I was like, this, this clearly is um, hard because everyone thought I was super confident. Like, at Expos specifically, like, I, like, seemed like it to other people. But in reality, I was in my pants. I was so nervous. Yeah. I mean, that's me, like, how, like literally every single second of, like, yeah. when I work. And and it's, like, I'm just, like, grateful because it's, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, oh, I just, because I feel like, oh, I'm just, like, this nobody. But then I'm, like. But you're not. I, but I look at, like, especially, like, all my coworkers mm -hmm. and my, like, close personal friends that I've made mm -hmm. in the industry. I'm, like, wow, like, I'm actually, I'm doing the thing. Yeah. And, like, like, I feel like you have to give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. I mean, because it's, like, I take a lot of, mm -hmm. like, a you do. You film a lot of stuff too that a lot of people can't film. Yeah, and like that's amazing. Like, and I feel like you compare yourself to the people that are in that area too, and you don't realize like you're literally doing and the it. same thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and I'm getting better. You know, like I mm -hmm. mean, it just comes with like I think like also age and just like yeah. you know being more in the industry and like yeah, and just like getting like all these like especially like you know being self managed. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have any like I don't have yeah. like an agency. Which, or which is awesome. That's awesome that you're able to get these shoots and you're just doing it yourself. Right. And I'm just like, I mean, I always say raw dogging it. Yeah. But like, yeah, you are raw dogging I'm, it. I'm just raw dogging life. Yeah. <laughs> what tips would you have for someone that, you know, is not maybe new to the industry, but struggling to feel like they fit in? Do you have any tips? Because I feel like you're kind of working on that right now. Um, I think, honestly, it's just like, like, keep, keep her close, like, mm -hmm. a circle close. Like, yeah. And don't, like, I mean— and just don't let like social media get the best yeah. of you. And don't just reply to the haters. Yeah. Don't reply to the haters. Yes. And Ignore. yeah. <laughs> and it's like be wary of norm of like, you know, of like newbies. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, 
like I said, keep your circle close yeah. and like do not let anyone get in like your head at all. Because yeah. like if I would have like listened to people like when I first started, I would never be where I'm at. And like yeah. like I mean, and I'm still getting like I'm getting now shoots like better mm-hmm. than like people that are like are with agencies and stuff. Yeah. And it's like if I would have like listened to like those people mm-hmm. or oh god, sorry, Ella, pull my own hair <laughs> here. But it's like you know, and I think it's just like being more confident and just yeah. like knowing that like it is like it's okay to like ask questions and mm-hmm. it's okay to like if you don't know everything because yeah. you're not going to walk into and be like I know everything yeah. 101 like yeah it, I feel a- like I've learned so much in the last four years and like you've learned so much in the last six it's like you look back and you're like wow I'm glad younger me kept going right and it, I mean and like and I just also think you're just like just keep like just be positive mm-hmm. and like you know, and it, I think it's, like, a lot of people don't understand, like, you're not going to come into this industry and make, right. like, 10 grand instantly. Right. You know, and, the, and like, people that do that, it's, like, one in a million. Right. What, but it, it will not last. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just, like, don't get down effort, on yourself. Yeah. Like, if you have a bad month mm-hmm. or just, like, and or it's, like, or you see, like, and be proud of your friends for, like, yeah. if you see your friends, like, exceeding really well and getting all these yeah. shoots, like, not getting jealous of that mm-hmm. because it's, like, you want to, like, those are the people you want around because you yeah. want to have successful, right. uplifting people in your life. Yeah, you don't want to be around people, though, who are, like, like, they don't want to be around people who aren't excited for them. And then you don't want to be around people who aren't getting those opportunities. Like, not that you need to be, like, a gold digger type friend, but, like, you just want to be on friends? an uplifting path with yeah, your friends. Yeah, birds of a feather flock together. I mean, and there's no, because, I mean, I know people that don't do pro scenes yeah. and, like, but, I mean, and they are making tons more money than I do. I mean, it's not b- about money. I think it's just, yeah. like, it's just I, about the progress. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just, like, always, like, I just, I, I mean, that goes in life, too. It's, like, yeah. always being around someone that's wanting to better themselves mm-hmm. and, like, their yeah. path in life. Yeah. No, I totally get it. I'm so glad I got to have you on. Me, too. Let Me too. them know where they can find you. Like, say, like, your link name. It'll all be in the description, too, but that way they can hear it. Yeah, so I'm, um, like, so my Instagram just got deleted, but my new Instagram is pocket size um, Olivia X, and then on Twitter, it's pocket size Ollie X. Mm-hmm. And like that's where you can find all my like my link tree and which. And is what like, about your OnlyFans? What's your OnlyFans? It's OnlyFans.com slash Olivia V X. Perfect. And that's V E E. Perfect. And is your name just Olivia V on many vids or? Um, yeah, same thing. Same. Olivia V X. Yes. Perfect. I will have her links down below. Thank you guys so much for listening. So glad to be here. Thank you yes! for having me. I know. And if you guys want to see our scene, look at the links down below. Have a great day. Have a great night. Mm-hmm. Just know that you are somebody's type. Sydney out. Bye. Mm.